In the South Bay, a nonprofit has been helping veterans cope with PTSD for more than a decade. Operation Freedom Paws teaches them how to train their dogs to detect signs of mental or physical changes in case they might need help. This is all done for free. Crown Force El Sogamonian is in San Martin with a look at how this works. These pups are learning to be the best service dogs they can be for our retired military service members. Each one is led by their owner, who is guided by an instructor seated at the center of the room. Puppy push-ups times three. Training can be tricky, so treats are always at the ready. Most participants learned about the 48-week program when looking for ways to cope with post-traumatic stress. Jacob Dane and his dog Camo are in their third week. So right now we're still working on his alerts uh, for different things. It could be any type of medical reasons. What he does is he'll alert you if you're having anxiety or if you're um, you know, having issues at home sleeping or you get anxious. He'll alert you and he'll walk over, he'll lick you, he'll calm you down. The course also prepares dogs to be careful when they react to their surroundings. Potential triggers put them to the test inside of a space decorated to look like a home. Outside, other obstacles are put in their path. The second instructor simulates a trip to the store, which can be quite noisy. So that way the dog gets used to the shopping cart when you go shopping at a grocery store or any store that has the shopping carts. So that's mainly what it is. And the hurdle is just discipline training for the, for the dogs. Pups leap across the hurdles and obediently stop to change direction when told. Vietnam War veteran Mary Cortani, who founded the nonprofit in 2011, says hundreds of people have benefited from the free program. She wanted to make it accessible at no cost when she says she got a call from a veteran who was quoted $25,000 for dog training elsewhere. In talking to him, seeing that he had lost hope, um, I made him a promise that if he was willing to go on the journey with me, I would figure out how to do it, which meant I needed to do a deep dive into what our veterans were facing coming home um, or the issues they were having here even at home. Curtani's classes strictly have dog owners Stay handling here. their pet themselves so that they are equipped with the knowledge in real world scenarios when they go home. Training a dog themselves can help veterans in more ways than one. Of course, it'll strengthen their bond, but it also can create a sense of purpose for mission driven people. And it isn't just veterans who can join in. Operation Freedom Paws welcomes community members when they have the space to teach them too. Janine Reynolds retired from California Highway Patrol in San Jose when she was hurt in a crash while on the job. She says her dog Stenson has helped pull her out of a deep depression. Being a police officer, I joined that field because I feel a sense of community and having that injury and secluding myself in the home just was a downward spiral and so now being out and being able to be in my community again and connecting with community while it's not in law enforcement and it's a different way has helped tremendously. Operation Freedom Paws keeps their doors open 24 hours a day seven days a week in case vets are in need of support. Reporting in San Martin, I'm Ella Sigamonian, Con4 News.